hi guys welcome back to my channel um okay so yesterday the wheel spinner chose the bridge landscape lovely lovely picture um so that's what i worked on yesterday okay so <clears throat> i worked down here so i added in some uh pinky colors and this brown um sorry this is a bit difficult to grab hold of um some more brown across here all the way across um some down here um i added in a few like bluey greeny colors here um and this gray and so there's some blue there and there's a bit like a, a lavender kind of color there that i've added in where am i there uh, i've added in here and also i added in quite a big chunk of it here and here and just like a few bits and bobs here and there so did um quite a bit of work on this yesterday i apologize if you can hear the noise in the background it's my washing machine um so yeah uh i did work on that quite a bit yesterday i also managed to get in some journaling time so i did a couple of journal pages too uh, I remembered to take my tablet upstairs and charge it, so that's good. Uh, okay, so let's see what we're going to work on today. When the app decides to open, there we go. Right. So, let's see what we're going to work on today. Uh, no, stop. I did that by accident, folks. Spin. And we're going to spin again. And we're going to spin again. Third time lucky. And we've got the rainbow yin yang. Yay. Okay, folks, I will get this all set up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. So we have the rainbow yin yang today. That's what we're working on. Okay, and we are working with colour number 902, and it is this uh, red symbol here with a dot in the middle. So let's get the camera sorted so that you can see what I am doing. There we go, okay, so here we are. So, how is everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a lovely weekend. Uh, mine's been pretty chilled, to be honest. Not done a great deal. Um, me and Millie have been out for a walk earlier. Um, I've taken some washing out of the dryer i've had to use the dryer to get the clothes dried because the the washing is piling up but the weather's just not there to dry it so having to use the dryer because obviously i need to get things sorted ready for the weekend and i can't trust the great british weather to give me a couple of drying days so yeah we're, we're making use of the dryer um 
so yeah done uh, a load of drying and took that out folded that up and I have some stuff in the washing machine now um, I think it's just finished actually so then that will go in um, yeah just uh, today it's just all about getting as much washing done as I as, as I physically can um, I need to uh, yeah I need to I need to get it done because like I say it's starting to pile up and you know I've got bedding from beds that have been changed and you know obviously when it's hanging around it's bedding is bulky so it takes up a lot of space so yeah that's what my plan is for today um i am also going to make barbecue chicken drumsticks so i will put them in the oven at about four o'clock to cook um what else what else what else Um, I'll probably have to get the hoover out at some point because I hoovered yesterday but um, after taking the clothes out of the dryer they brought with it a load of fluff and that's now all over my lounge floor so I am going to have to get the hoover out and get that hoovered up so yeah Changed one of the blankets on the uh, sofa. It's, uh, obviously, with Millie back lying on the sofa again, they get covered in hair, so I don't like to leave them on there for too long. So I've changed that blanket. So that's good. Um, I did get through my chores the other day. Was it last night? Night before? Can't remember. Last night, I think it was. No, it was Friday night. When I had to, um, you know, find the car parking spaces for my dad and all that sort of stuff. So I'd done all that. So he's happy now. Um, yeah. I spoke to my friend on the phone for a while. We had a bit of a gossip. So that was good. Hold on. I need to sit comfortably and this is just not... There we go. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? I don't live an exciting life, folks. <laughs> <laughs> most days there's not a great deal to tell you because I haven't done anything <laughs> um, I watched YouTube yesterday um, what else did we watch oh when um, we all sat down to have our food um, my son decided he was going to watch Squid Game again so that was on the TV so when he went back upstairs he left that on so I ended up watching a couple of episodes of that um, I've seen it before um, what else did I watch um, I can't remember now I've slept since then, only just mind. Yeah, it was daylight when I went to sleep this morning. So, I don't know what time it was. I didn't look, but I was like, I don't even want to know. You know, it's bad enough that it's daylight without, um, you know, actually looking and seeing the time. So, yeah, I just got myself together and got into sleeping position and just lay there until I went to sleep. In the end, I did a lot of stitching. I did some journaling. I've done quite a few pages now. Um, I'm going to print off some more stuff today, I think, because I'm, I'm a bit limited as to what I can use because... 
Um, I haven't bought a lot of stuff for it. I bought a bit, you know, a lot of stickers and stuff, but, you know, like background pages and things I haven't got a lot of. So, uh, I found some online and downloaded them so I can print them off now that I have, uh, you know, got, got the ink. I changed the blue because it was the blue that had gone. And then, so I changed that and then... I printed a few pages and then the black went so I changed that and I think the next one to go is going to be the red because that was very low so we've only got red and yellow left to change now <laughs> and then all of the colours will have been changed but to be honest I don't actually use my printer very often it's only sort of um if I'm doing, or when I used to do counted all the time before I started the pre-stamped, um, I used to print off the pages. Uh, I'd scan them into my printer uh, and then print the pages off because I used to, um, I didn't want to mark the actual pattern. So by printing it off, I used to get a pencil and I'd colour in with the pencil where I'd done. That way, when you use a pencil, you can um, rub it out or erase it when you know you've made a mistake or whatever. So you know it, you're not going to get even more in a mess if you did it with, say, a highlighter or something. A highlighter is what I used to use, but then, like I say, it was like I was getting really confused if I had to rip any out. But I'd already coloured it in, so it was like, oh, God, it's so confusing. So, yeah, I print it off and colour it in with pencil. And then when I've completed the pattern, all of the printouts that I've done get thrown away because there's no need to keep them, you know. It was purely just to use while I did the pattern. So, you know, I'm not breaching any copyrights or anything, <clears throat> anyone. I'm not... You know, printing and passing it on or anything like that. I'm literally just printing it out so that I can um, mark off where I'm up to without destroying the pattern. Because obviously if I ever wanted to do the pattern again and I had marked it, then I, I wouldn't be able to follow it. So, just a little tip for you guys there. Um, you know, if you do counted and, uh, you know, you want to mark off without marking your pattern, then... There you go, little tip for you. Make a copy and uh, yeah, colour that in with pencil. And then, you know, it's easily erasable. Oh, God. Sorry, my hand is so swollen. It's like it, it, in between my fingers here, it's like rubbing and it, oh, it's horrible. It feels like. It feels like there's like a stone there or something. So just let me move stuff because Millie's decided she wants to get up on the sofa. There we go. You've got a clean blanket now. Yeah, clean blanket. Good girl. So, yeah, little tip for you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, one of my subscribers asked... Um, you know, how to stop um, the edges fraying uh, on these um, canvases if, you know, if they haven't been surged. Um, now, a way, one way you could do it is by using something called Fray Check. I have never personally used it. So, you know, I don't know if it's any good or... I, I don't know, but I do know that there is something out there that exists um, to stop fraying. Um, you could, like, whip stitch round it. Because, essentially, that's all surging is anyway. It's just like a, a stitching over the top so that it stops it from fraying. Um, <clears throat> you could also... No, I have done that wrong. Let's go back. 
not skip a stitch there we go well done clever lady now I've just pulled it out of there my god there we go uh, yeah what you could also do and I've never tried this either but it just popped into my head if you have PVA glue you know like the stuff that they use at school um, you could try adding that to the edges um, to see if that would help to stop it from fraying I don't know if it works like I say I've never used it and it's literally just an idea that popped into my head about 30 seconds ago <laughs> um, so yeah you could try that also you know because I mean at the end of the day it's the edges you know so if you if you were to try PVA glue and it didn't work it's not going to be a massive deal because no one's going to see the edges when you get it framed or whatever um, so I wouldn't worry too much about it um but yeah just to give it, it it's just something to give it a coating you know to hold it together to stop it from fraying so you know if anybody does use the glue thing and let me know how it works if it does work let me know <laughs> like i say it was literally just something that popped into my brain so yeah let me know <coughs> if anybody uses that technique and it does actually work I would be very interested so yeah uh, one thing I have been watching on YouTube just recently and I don't know why <clears throat> I suppose it's because it's so different to the way it is over here um but american body cam footage of of stuff you know police footage um you know because obviously your police are allowed to carry guns ours don't in the uk there are only sort of a very select amount of police that are actually gun trained and allowed to carry um mainly that would be a SWAT team um, or armed response as we call it um, but on the whole you know your average no I can't do that because it's not sorry I'm talking to myself um, yeah your average policeman on the street um, doesn't carry a weapon well, not a gun, sorry. They do carry weapons. They have, like, um, pepper spray. Um, they have, like, the old-fashioned truncheon. Well, the old-fashioned word is truncheon, but it's um, not like that anymore. It's like a baton. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been watching those because it's, it's interesting to see um, you know how differently um, things work for you guys you know let me try and move around a little bit and then maybe I can uh, um, yeah it's interesting to me to see how things work differently you know I mean I, I was heartbroken at one that I watched last night um, it was this poor 17 year old guy that this policeman stopped and he was on his own this policeman the guy was on his own as well um and he stopped the car and you know he was saying to the the, the lad you know wind down your window but he couldn't because it wasn't working um and so the policeman got really really irate with him and opened his door and started dragging him out of the car and he tased him but he tased him for that long it sent him unconscious and then the policeman handcuffed him and dragged him across the road and dropped him on the floor on his face and it was horrific and the thing is this young lad's dad um was a police officer also 
So they ended up turning up and they were like, who the hell tased my son like this? The the ambulance came and at that point he was actually um, declared dead. <clears throat> they worked on him, CPR, they shocked him. Uh, they got him back. Um, so, yeah. But it was... This police officer just lied and said, oh, yeah, yeah, he was conscious and that, and, you know, he hasn't been down for that long, and he was actually declared dead for eight minutes, you know, and this, this, this copper was saying, oh, no, it's only been two minutes. No, it wasn't at all, and it was all recorded on his, um, his dash cam. Um, and from what I could gather from the comments, um, I mean, the young lad's never been the same since, um... You know, I think it's left him with uh, some sort of brain damage. Um, the police officer only got four years in prison, which I think is absolutely disgusting. And uh, But the family, his parents and the, the lad, um, did actually sue the officer. Um, and they won. And they won $6.5 million. So, I mean... That's a good outcome, but it never should have happened in the first place, you know. It never should have got to that point where there was a reason to sue, you know. But oh, it was horrific. It was awful. I couldn't believe it. And, I mean, you know, we we have corrupt cops over here, obviously. You know, I think every single force in the world has corrupt cops, but... At least over here, you don't have the fear of being shot. You know, um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's crazy, you know, to think that um, an officer can stop you, and you know, there is that fear of being shot. At least we don't have that over here. I'm very thankful for that. Um, you know, like I say, our armed officers only come out very specific circumstances. Like if somebody is armed and threatening, then the armed police will come out. Um, in in that sort of situation, you know, they are requested and they do come out. Um, but. Or your average day-to-day -day thing, you know, at least we don't have officers that are armed with a lethal weapon. You know, I would be absolutely terrified to live in America with armed police everywhere. You know, all police are armed. It's like, that's crazy to me. I don't see the need. But then, I suppose, because your laws are different over there, you know, and poli uh, people over there do have guns in their houses and things, and they have the concealed carry um, licences and things, so people can just be walking the streets with a, a gun on them. Um, so I suppose, you know, that counteracts the police thing about being armed. I mean, we don't have that over here, you know, people aren't just walking the streets with guns, you know, and 80% of the population doesn't even own a gun, you know, so I suppose, it, you know, it works out for you guys over there because, you know, guns are um, allowed to be owned. Whereas over here, it's it's quite difficult um, to own a weapon like that. So, yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts, people. What are your thoughts on police being armed and things and all that jazz? You give me your opinions. Tell me what you think. Let's have a bit of a debate about this. Um, you know, I, I know I'm not the only person that's going to have an opinion on this. And for any of my American subscribers, I mean, I know I have a lot of American subscribers. 
you make up the majority of my subscribers to be fair um i do not mean to offend anybody by this conversation i know it's a bit controversial um but yeah i don't mean to upset anybody or offend anybody i'm just purely giving my opinion um and you know i would love to hear everybody else's opinion on this um I do know that there are Americans out there that don't believe in, you know, people having guns around them and, you know, all that sort of thing. So just, I'd love to know your opinions, but I, by having this sort of conversation, I have, no, you know, there was no intention of upsetting anybody or offending anybody or anything like that. I'm not judging people. I'm just literally stating my opinion. So if I have upset anybody, I do apologise wholeheartedly. Um, not my intention at all. So, yeah. Um, but give me your opinions, folks. Let's let's talk about this. I mean, you know, it's quite an important subject, really. Isn't it? Um, so, yeah, let's, let's have a chat about it. Let's... Let's engage on a topic. And I don't even know where this topic sort of sprung from. I was one minute I was just telling you about stuff that I'd watched and then the next minute I'm having a I'm having a a discussion about police being armed and people being armed and oh my goodness. See where my brain goes. My brain just wanders off on its own doing its own thing and i have zero control <laughs> over it sometimes honestly people it's yeah i don't know i don't know where my brain goes sometimes or how it even sort of gets onto these tangents that i seem to wander off onto i don't I have no idea Maybe there's just too much going round and round and round in my head that, you know, it sort of forces its way to the forefront and out of my mouth. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, dear. Honestly. Uh, yeah. I'd hate to be my partner if I had one. You know, it's like, you know, we could be having a conversation about one thing and then before you know it, we're on a completely different subject and my partner wouldn't have a bloody clue what just happened. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to have to be a, um, a pretty strong person, I think, to take me on as a partner. Um, right, I'm going to leave it there for because yeah i'm just i'm just i'm yeah um i don't want to upset anybody any further uh so yeah we have done this little bit down here um i'll continue on i've got another two strands out um so that's another four needles worth so i'll try and get all this section up here done because there's a lot of it up here um yeah and then i'll i'll um fill in some of this 19 I think which I believe is 823 yeah oh yeah, sorry so it's like a dark blue so yeah there we go guys so thank you very very much for watching as I said haven't meant to upset anybody or you know offend anybody it's literally just my opinion and, you know, I'd love to hear yours. So please do comment and, and share your thoughts and, and opinions on it. Um, so, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Really, really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Wow. Um, so, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. Um if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you can think of anybody that might enjoy my waffling on, then please do give me a share. Um, 
so until tomorrow folks um take care of yourselves and each other okay bye bye